welcome everyone so this is a very interesting problem so a lot of people uh, thought that you know we can actually simplify this further and you can write this as nothing but what 2 raised to x into 2 raised to 3 equals to 3 raised to x into 3 square right why because obviously a raised to indices which are added can be written as nothing but a raised to m into a raised to n okay so coming back this would now get you what 2 raised to x into 8 this gets you 3 raised to x into 9 so you can shift the basis and sorry the variables on one side and the numbers on another side so your what will happen in this case is that we will divide both sides by 3 raised to x right and also by 8 so what happens over here is this 8 is getting cancelled this 3 raised to x is getting cancelled so what you're getting is 2 upon 3 since the indices are same i can say this is whole raised to x and this gets you what 3 square 9 is 3 square and 2 cube but that's it after this also you will have to use or take the help of logs so instead of doing all of this what i would recommend is you take log at this step itself okay so what happens in that case is that when you take log on both the sides here let's apply log okay so log of 2 raised to x plus 3 equals to log of 3 raised to x plus 2 okay now as we all know that log of a <coughs> raised to m can also be written as what m log a means the indices come ahead so here also i can take the index ahead so we'll get x plus 3 upon log sorry into log 2 and then you have x plus 2 into log <coughs> 3 okay <coughs> now still we are not able to get our own things right now so what we'll do in this case is that we will open the brackets okay so what happens is we have x log 2 plus 3 log 2 equals to x log 3 plus 2 log 3 okay so now we'll take the variables on one side and the numbers on another side okay so what we'll have is x log 2 minus x log 3 equals to 2 log 3 so now understand i can even this is obviously vice versa correct so if there is a number ahead i can take it as the index okay so instead of writing this 2 I can directly write this as nothing but what log 9 minus then we have 3 log 2 so that will become what log of 2 raised to 3 that gets you log 8 okay now what we'll do is we'll take x common and I'm left with what log of 2 minus log 3 equals to log 9 minus log 8 so obviously in order to find the value of x we will divide both sides by log 2 minus log 3 okay so therefore i can say x value will be nothing but what log 9 minus log 8 upon log 2 minus log 3 this my dear friends is your final answer for this particular question you can literally do this you know even in one one more method which is by taking um this log 2 to the base 2 okay but for those who are finding it very difficult i think this is pretty much okay you can actually solve this this way as well okay but but for those who want to figure out how to do this let's try and see how to do this in this format so why did i do that i'll tell you i'll tell you quickly um, obviously we're taking log on both sides now why did i say that you can take log 2 to the base 2 there is a very important reason behind this okay so obviously i'm taking log 3 and wherever i'm taking base 2 
so obviously the log to the base 2 will be common to both the sides why have i done this okay a lot of people wonder but trust me if you can do this it's going to make your entire question very very sim simple why because see understand log of any number to the base of same number is always 1 so by default this entire value became 1 okay now people might argue that why did i take this one and i why didn't i take uh, your log of 3 to the base 3 yes so all over if i'm taking log of 3 to the base 3 then here also it has to be 3 okay so wherever you're taking log of whatever base it has to get applied on both the sides of your equal to so here for convenience i have taken log of 2 to the base 2 you could take log of 3 to the base 3 but then here also it has to get reflected okay so now obviously this is becoming 1 this value becomes 1 so you are just left with what x plus 3 equals to let's open the bracket so you have x into log of 3 to the base 2 plus 2 log of 3 to the base 2 okay so now what we'll do is we'll shift the numbers on one side and the variables on another side so what we'll get over here is x minus x log 3 to the base 2 equals to 2 log 3 to the base 2 can also be written as nothing but what log of 9 to the base 2 minus 3 okay so now what we'll do is we'll take x common so what we'll get is 1 minus log of 3 to the base 2 equals 2 still this will remain as it is log of 9 to the base 2 minus 3 okay now obviously in order to find the value of x we are going to divide both sides by 1 minus log 3 to the base 2 and here also we will divide by 1 minus log 3 to the base 2 so this gets cancelled so therefore i can say x value is nothing but what log of 9 to the base 2 minus 3 upon 1 minus log of 3 to the base 2 okay so i hope you'll have understood how to do these things Achha, now this is specifically for people who are attempting entrances and where the options are given in the form of bases okay so sometimes they give you base of 2 or if they would have given base of 3 then you would have to work accordingly okay but for those you find this difficult then obviously this solution is also absolutely correct okay so please understand there are different ways of solving many questions lot of people keep commenting that you could have done it this way you could have done it that way i understand that but i normally stick to the method which is acceptable throughout and which can be very very easy to understand and implement okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video